If the Bioplex MagPix instrument is not used for a period of time, or the samples tested were viscous in nature, the MagPix sample probe and internal flow chamber could be contaminated with beads. This could lead to a failure in instrument calibration or verification. Start troubleshooting by removing and cleaning the sample probe and making sure the sample probe height is set correctly. Instructions for cleaning the probe are provided in the how-to videos that come with the instrument. For instructions on setting the probe height, refer to the Setting the Probe Height on the Bioplex MagPix Multiplex Reader video available on the BioRad Life Sciences YouTube channel. The distilled or DI water test presented here is used to check the status of the MagPix flow chamber to see if the instrument will detect any beads in just DI water. Before you begin, it is important to do the following. Launch the exponent software. Under the Admin tab, select the Batch Option tab. Under Batch Options, select the box next to the Allow running a batch if the instrument is not calibrated or verified option. This will prevent errors while running the DI water test. Make sure you log off the exponent software. Now you are ready to do the DI water test. The test is to let the instrument pick up only DI water, then check to see if there were any beads shown. To do this, Take a flat bottom 96 well plate and fill wells A1 to E1 with 200 microliters of DI water each. Next, launch Bioplex Manager MP software. Click on the Create Run Protocols tab and select New. A new protocol window will appear. From the assay panel pull down menu, select MagPix Quick Start and then select all for analytes. Click Format Plate. Highlight wells A1 to E1 and then click on the X button. This marks the wells as unknown. Click OK. Click Save As and name the file DI Water Test. Once saved, this protocol can be used for the DI Water Test whenever necessary. Click the Start button to run the plate. A warning window saying that the calibration has failed will pop up. You can ignore this warning, so click No to continue. At this point, the plate carrier will eject automatically. Under Result Name, add Water Test. Select Flat Bottom Plate as the plate type and select None for the post-run routine. Click Run Protocol. The plate carrier will automatically retract. The run will start right away. Check the bead region plot and bead count in the Classification 1, Classification 2 windows. Don't be alarmed if you get a warning for low bead count. Since no beads were added to the wells, you should see zero to two counts in the wells, preferably zero. If not, this indicates that the flow chamber is contaminated. If that's the case, you will need to perform an extended cleaning procedure to clean the MagPix flow chamber. Details about this extended cleaning can be found in the Bioplex MagPix Multiplex Reader Extended Cleaning Video, available on the BioRad Life Sciences YouTube channel. As always, if you have questions about any of your BioRad products, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at BioRad. Dot com.